guys. Hey, we are here at Lost Dutchman State Park, just east of Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, we're here to do some hiking. Yeah, we have boondocked in this area before, but we wanted to go to the state park this time to see what the campground was like. It's actually a little difficult to get reservations here. Uh, when I first checked the website, everything was booked solid and I refreshed the page uh, the next day and there was a whole week available. So it's just kind of hit and miss. Yeah. We have boondogged nearby in our bounder when we used to have our motor home and that's a decent option, but our experience is that it's kind of getting more and more crowded. It can be a little trashy. And we want to do a longer hike um, that would will be nice to be able to walk straight out from the campground. Yeah. Save some time. Yeah. So um, we are in one of the dry camping sites. I think some of the sites do have electrical hookups and then there is a central um, dump station and freshwater fill. Uh, we're excited for a stay here. We hope we get some great sunsets and we'll show you this epic hike. Good morning. Hey guys. Well, today is a holiday. Uh, President's Day. Yeah, so Brad has the day off. We were hoping it might not be too busy on the hiking trail. Uh, Looking good so far. Yeah, that's really to be determined, but... We are doing the Siphon Draw Trail and then the extension up to Flat Iron. Yeah, it's about a five and a half, six mile hike some pretty good gain. I think it's maybe around 2,600 feet of gain. So really challenging trail it sounds like, uh, but I've been looking forward to this for a really long time. Yeah, it's been on our list for years and now we finally just, I don't know, it stars aligned at the start. right time. Yeah, we, we personally feel ready and uh, despite the fact that we're already breathing heavy. <laughs> uh, Anyway, it should be a great hike. We've kind of hit this slick rock patch that is very steep. A lot of people coming down. like it so far. Yeah, we're actually not entirely sure, but we've got the route on our phone, so it's fine. And we've already, this hike has already totally beat us. <laughs> on the back side. Just as stunning. You know, we sat up here for a while, enjoyed some food, enjoyed the views, and we're ready to go back down. Amazing and difficult and challenging trail. And I'm so glad we did it. Beautiful. Yeah, I would do it again in a heartbeat. 
wish the trail was better marked. Yeah. Other than that. <laughs> it was a little hard. But you know, if you just follow like the ravine, then, then you're going the right way. Yeah. <sighs> and I love all the, it's lush up here. So many cacti. Yeah. All right, probably not filming at all on the way down. Nope. <laughs> See you guys at home. Yeah. We are three miles from, or no, sorry, we're five miles from the trailhead and I still have uh, several bars of 5G service, so this would be a totally decent place to camp. Today we are doing another great hike that was about a 40 minute drive from Lost Dutchman, so um, not within the state park, but uh, some friends had d done it and it just looks amazing. So today we're doing the Peralta Trail to the Fremont Saddle. It's just shy of six miles and about 1600 feet of elevation gain. Uh, should be a great day. It's kind of hot out, but we got plenty of water. So you need an Arizona State Trust land permit to be using this land in any capacity. And we didn't realize that until we saw the signs on the drive here. So we bought the permit online and um, we were going to write our permit number down on paper when we realized we don't have a pen in the truck so that's a big fail but um brad's brilliant idea is to write with glue and then sprinkle dirt on it and it's totally working <laughs> that is so funny man it works really well Oh, it is a very rocky trail and uh, it's Saturday afternoon. It's a very busy day to be out here, unfortunately. A lot of cars down there. It's beautiful out here though. 